In this video, I'm going to talk about the sequencer built into Phantom. The sequencer has some classic ways of sequencing. Also, it has some brand new ways as well. It has the TR Rec mode, which is the same type of sequencing that was built into the classic drum machines like the TR-808 and the 909, etc. Then you have real-time recording, where you play what you want on the keyboard, quantize your, and correct your notes as it's going in, and then edit your notes on the piano roll editing system that's built in to Phantom, and you can see beautifully on the graphic display what's going on. And then finally, I'm going to take you through the new clip-based sequencer built into Phantom, where you can actually have different patterns and different loops playing different instruments. So let's get started and have a look at how we can put this all together. Okay, so let's make our own pattern using the different types of sequencing built into Phantom, starting off with TR Rec. So I've selected a drum kit on track eight, and I'm going to play a kick drum. Place it across the bar and hit play. There we go. So I can hit a snare drum now and place it on beats two and four. Now that loop is playing just one bar around and around. And select an electric piano sound. There we go. So if I go into record, I get the window up that says record standby and it gives me the different parameters to choose like quantizing, my loop length, all of that sort of thing. So if I hit start, there we go. So we have a electric piano looping around for four bars. Now let me find that bass sound. I think it was on channel seven. And I can work out what I want to do while it's still cycling. Okay, so I hit record and away we go. There we go. So now I have a pattern for the drums, I have a pattern for the bass, and I have a pattern for the electric piano. If I want to try something different for the electric piano, I can. So I'll select the electric piano, and I'll go into record, and it se selects new there. So if I hit start, So we have a new pattern. Now the cool thing is, is that I can swap backwards and forwards and see what I've done and see what I like. So now we're back to the original pattern. You can check that out. Let's go to TR Rec mode. I have drums selected. Let's put down some hi-hat. Simple as that, there you have it. Okay, so we've made our different patterns, electric piano, bass, drums, and variations of those patterns. So we can play them individually by pressing the clip icon and it will play that loop back. Or we can play uh, the combination of patterns that are on the row by pressing the row icon. There we have that playing back. If I press row B, it will play that combination of patterns back. Now you can group these patterns together as I've just played them to chain them all together to create your song. And it's as simple as doing this. I'll hit grouping, set, group one. So now I can go to row A, grouping, and I'll go down to group two, set, and that's set to group two. You can also do a combination of patterns from different rows, which is really cool if you want to try different variations. So now we go to group and we'll set each group to four bars because they go for four bars. But the option here is obviously is that you can make these four bars, two bars or one bar, if it's just a turnaround in your song or something like that. So you can still use that pattern, but cut it down. So let's go to make song and we go add replace. So I'll select the first one, add two versions of that go down to the second one and add two versions of that and then hit song. And you can see on screen, we've got our groups lined up in a row ready to play into each other. So if I hit play, 
and I can jam away to my heart's content over the top. Mm -hmm.